welcome to my channel. This is Chukpa Koto, Mbazi Chukuma, the creative director. I'll be teaching you how to make this sleeve. And the sleeve uh, is not common, but for me, I would say the sleeve is um, Spirogyra sleeve. For this tutorial, I'll be needing the paper. And afterwards, I'm going to place it on the fabric and bring it out. And you're going to get this paper just like so as it is. Shall you join? When you join, you fold it like so. Then you fold again. Like so. How do we come about this? You see, this the sleeve length is 22. The sleeve is in two parts. The from the shoulder to the ankle. From the shoulder to the elbow, sorry, is 10. Then from the elbow down to the ankle is 12. That sums up 22. Then the, the sleeve is an off shoulder. It's just like something like this. You know, normal shoulder, normal sleeve is something like this. Normal sleeve is something like this. But since it's off shoulder, it's going to be something like this. Then this part is the part I call sparujaira. It's in a kind of form. So I want to start cutting. I want to teach us how to get this aspect, which is the length 12. Then the sleeve round is 12. Sorry, 14, the top side. Then the this side is 12. So for a basic sleeve, here being 12, you divide it into two, six, then pursuing around. But for this, you are going to times three because this sleeve here is not one. It's called into three parts. That's why you're going to times it by three. That's 12 times three. Now you'll be getting, um, let's do it together, 24 plus 12 again, you'll be getting 36. So six, 12 times 3 will give you 36. Let's go back to this 12 again. So by the time you fold it, you'll get 12, then plus sewing allowance, 1 inch, that's 13. So let's go back to the paper. Or I, like I explained to you us before, the sleeve is in two portions. We have done the the one that looks like um, spiral gyra. And I want to do the top side. It's an off shoulder. So we'll be needing our basic sleeve. This is our basic sleeve with the sleeve length 22. This is the sleeve length 22. So from the upside to this aspect is 10. So this is the 10. This is 10. So we need in this spot. So I'm going to do it like so. I don't want to cut it because I'll still use it. I'll still use it for other things. So I'm going to place it like so. This will be the sewing allowance. Remember, 
This one is an off shoulder. So we're going to off it. This is a basic sleeve. We're going to off it now. Yes, here is going to be two inches. Just do it like so. Then we ant it. The sleeve round is um um sleeve round seven. Sorry. Yeah, the sleeve round is seven plus one inch. The seven. The one I'm gonna off it is gonna be three five eight here. Then one thing, one secret about this armhole is then the sleeve round is seven. Definitely arm hole is 14 plus one, that's 15. That's how it is. So when you now measure it, it's accurate 15. See, 15 plus this. Just add a little around. Then when it gets here, like so, you connect it to this. Let me use my marker. Connect it like so. You know? Then we have opted it this way. But for the sake of this style, here we go in, then this one will come up like this, and like that. That's the arm hole. Can I have a chalk? And just do it like so. And you cut. I'm doing like so, so that I'll just hold just like like this. Okay. Place it on the second one. Because I use that basic sleeve. But for this one, it's a stretchy fabric. So that allowance I put, I will go, I want to remove it. The allowance should be smaller this time because it's a stretchy fabric. That's all for this video. We're going to go off camera. We sew, join it together, and bring it back to you. Thank you.